Hey there, Flores here. Let's make a uh, copy of my CMI setup and let's call this one staff message. And in the terminal, we are going to start it up while in the meantime, we are going to check out the question. So um, a custom alias for staff message that is very possible let's go into here and check out the alias where we'll have staff message by default it is false if you set this to true and start the server you don't have to type cmi staff message you can actually type staff message as a command however we're gonna try and make our own which we're going to do with the custom alias thing and while the server is starting we're going to try and load a client and hopefully it won't take seven years to make this video. Um, this is a paper 1.18.1 server with the latest 9.1.0.4 of CMI and the latest CMI lib which is I think 1.1.0.4 uh, it's a default installation, just a template to help me speed this up for videos and whatever. So let's log in. I should be an operator, so I don't have to worry about permissions. And I can creative mode myself. Let's go over here. You can type see my alias editor, where you can enter a new command, staff message for example. And if you want it to do something like message player name um, your staff all right so now when we type staff message it will be red but we're going to fix that in a second then you're going to get this message returned if you type see my staff message hi you're actually sending a notice to all the staff members so let's try and combine something here Staff messages go to all online staff. Uh, keep it clean, please. Okay, and then we can do um, as cons no as player. See my staff message, and then let's just do everything. So this is a parameter. The first one entered, and the one means and number two and three and four. So now when we restart the server, we will properly register that command that was showing red, which allows us to um, use it in game. So again, if you want to use the CMI staff message as staff message, you have to go to the alias command and enable it. If you want to do a custom version like this one, because you want to add multiple commands to it, and we're going to extend it one more time, then you can use the CMI alias editor. So right now, if we go to the alias editor, we see staff message and we can figure out um, entity arrow hit for player. That's what we are going to use. Um, Okay, so as console, see my sound entity for player name. That way, when there is a staff message sent, hey everybody, then it will prefix with staff messages go to all the staff members. That's this one. See my staff message with the first parameter and everything behind it. That's this one. And then we're going to run a console command. Um, for the actual staff message. So that's sorry, that's this one. And then the sound at the end, which we're gonna run as console. So as console is a specialized command from CMI that lets you run a command as if it's run from the console. Great for the sound. Uh, <clears throat> and as player runs it as the player types it in the game. But of course they need the permission to do this. To limit access to this alias command to only the staff members, you can toggle the permission and then grant the CMI custom alias for staff message to the group. Of course, if you use the alias YML file and you actually you know, toggle it properly, then it's cmi.command.staffmessage. 
Um, yep, that's about it. So, hey, what's up? Yeah, all right, you can make this as complex as you want. Um, see my title message, Mr. Flores, hey, yep, that works. Okay, let's add one more. Um, that would be S console, and then um, uh, player name sent. There we go. Staff message sub sub. So it's very handy to have your own custom alias editor made commands because then you can make it look and do whatever you want but the easiest way is to go into the file here and find staff message and set it to true don't forget that if you have it in the editor here that you have to delete it and then when you stop and start the server i guess i could do a restart by the way like slash restart if you do that then the custom alias one is gone, but the alias YML file tells it that you want the alias for the full command to be enabled. And then when we log back in to the game, it should be there as normal. It's not. <laughs> oh, it didn't delete it. Did I not forget? Did I not do that? Oh no. All right, this is better. <laughs> I guess that went a little wrong on the saving side of things. All right, that's everything. Um, for more information, go to crips.net and otherwise ask around in the community Discord.